Hey guys, what's going on? This is Tyler Schlendorn here. Uh, I'll give my first YouTube video for my reactions of tonight's day one, round one of the NFL draft. And my golly, what an experience it was. Uh, if you didn't see, I was live with my friend Mitch Kofsky, uh Philly Insider Podcast, and you know, some other great people came into the stream today. You know, we had a fun time. And uh, I gotta admit, things were definitely looking bleak from my side. Uh, you know, we saw Justin Fields dropping, and we were all terrified that he was gonna be the pick of the Eagles at 12. And then we saw Sertain and Horn getting picked back to back. It was like the ultimate nightmare scenario. And, uh, you know, then the Cowboys pick comes up, we're like all defeated and stuff. We're like, oh no. This is a, we're screwed, we're going to get this, whatever players we wanted are now going to be taken by the Giants and Cowboys. What do we do now? And, you know, we're all mopey and stuff. And then, as I'm watching on my TV here, I noticed that the Cowboys traded the pick. I'm like, oh, that's weird. I don't know why they would pick, trade the 10th pick, but alright, who they trade to? And I saw the glorious Eagles bird. And I was so happy in that moment. The second I saw the Eagles traded it, I'm like, guys, guys, wait, they traded to 10. They're like, what? They look down, they see the Eagles traded to 10 too. They're like, oh my God. And after a lot of clamoring and hoping in a little bit of praying, we got our guy. We got the guy that we wanted for a majority of this draft. We got Devonta Smith, who I honestly was terrified was not going to fall to us at 12 and we wouldn't be able to get him because our I feel like our biggest hope was getting him at 8 or 9, uh, preferably at 8 with the Carolina Panthers, but I'm, I'm just so happy. You know, Devonta Smith, he's... Yes, undersized, but I think I think he's got a lot of potential. There's a lot of great things he can do. You know, he's got some excellent route running skills. His ability to make space is insane. And he's going to be such an asset to Jalen Hurts, not to mention a familiar face as well. Like, it's, it's everything we could want. If Devonta Smith can live up to this hype and Jalen Rager can have a great bounce back season, like... Honestly, things are kind of looking up. Are we going to be a playoff team? Probably not. Could we maybe win the division? Yes. But I don't think, even if we do win the division, I don't know about a deep playoff run. I don't think we're going to be able to pull off a 2017 Eagles kind of vibe. But it's still a great great future to look forward to with the eagles right now we're definitely in a lot of cap situation here over the next couple of years but um you know harry roseman can somehow pull off some more magic like he did tonight the future does look pretty good well that's gonna do it for me it's Late at night, I recorded this literally right after, a little bit after the stream ended. Uh, so I'm very tired. But uh, yeah, don't be sure to give me a follow on Twitter. It will be Tyler Schlendorn or at T Schlendorn. Don't forget to also uh, go follow some of my buddies like Mitch Kofsky, the guy who originally got me into YouTube after hounding me to do it for months at this point. But yeah, he's uh, definitely a big reason why I'm doing this today. So make sure you go follow him on Twitter, Mkofsky. And uh, make sure you follow him on YouTube as well. Great guy. Makes some great content as well. But with that, I wish you guys a good one.